So yesterday, Josh and I were invited to be part of the show called Like Father, Like Son on TNC. TNC is um, the, called the new channel. And it was shown on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook Live. And I just want to share our segment. And if you want uh, to watch the entire episode or show, the links are down in this, the, the description. But this short eight-minute video is... Um, special for me because Josh shares uh, his impressions about his father me okay as you know I am his adoptive father he doesn't know his biological father but and when I ask him if he wants to see him or search for him he doesn't say that he wants to because uh, <laughs> uh, ako na tatay niya and iniwan naman siya so okay lang so it's it's but um wanted to share this episode because it's really touching and it's an encouragement also for those um, families who might have some conflict and uh, this episode came you know a day or two after josh and i had a had some conflict about uh something i will mention it in the in the uh segment but uh yeah, I just wanted to share this to help inspire and encourage those families that are, you know, who need to hear some encouraging words, especially those fathers and, and, and sons. All right. So here we go. So sometimes whenever I'm lying down, I think to myself about all the achievements I've made in my life and how far I've gotten, regardless of whatever has happened to me. And when I think of who has guided me through that, aside from my mom, God, and everyone around me, I think, who has impacted my life the most? And I think of my dad. Because my dad was there ever since I was a baby. He's been with me through all the hardships of my life. He has been with me since my first mom died. He was always there. He stayed up to now that I am 15. So sometimes when I'm alone, I think to myself, all the achievements and how far I've gotten in life are only possible with the people who have been around me, my mom and God. But then sometimes I think to myself, who has given me the biggest impact? And I remember my father. So God gives you a father as somebody to guide you through your life. And that's what my dad did for me. He was with me since the start. Since my first mom died, he was been with me. He stayed no matter how hard things got. He still kept on going. And he showed to me what it's like to persevere and to always trust God and no matter what happens. So I always remember that. And I want to thank my dad. I want to thank God for the father he's given me, for all that they've done, because God's trying to help me through my dad. And I think it's amazing how he's done these past 15 years that I was his son, and I am still going to be his son. <laughs> but I just want to appreciate them for being the best to me, my brothers, and he's the best husband to my mom as well. He's understanding and he always tries to make our lives better each day. I don't want my dad to be just known as an entrepreneurship, an author, the husband of Miriam Kiambao. <laughs> I want him to be known as a man of God and as a role model. A man of God to me, a role model to me and my brothers, and a man of God to everyone that he talks to in his life. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll increase your allowance. Wow. <laughs> we should Thanks, do this a lot then. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. You're welcome. Um, wow, how do I respond to that? I'm like, Lord, I didn't know that you would appreciate me like that. Because <clears throat> just the other day we were arguing about your hair. <laughs> but I appreciate what you said. And... Um, I know being a father is worth it. I always tell you that one day I'll be gone and my job is to prepare you to be a, an, an adult, a grown-up, not just an ordinary one, but someone who's living up to your best potential, right? The other day I said, like right now, it's a testament because you know, we were talking on, while we were walking on the beach and then <clears throat> you were telling, we were talking about the future, we were talking about you're wanting to take medicine and... And we talked about your options, and I was actually telling you, you should consider 
even a career in broadcasting kasi you have you're a good speaker you, you can speak well even this could be a, a podcast i think yes. <laughs> but yeah and and uh so i want to honor also my dad who who was also a role model dr ned or lolo ned to josh and um and i want to tell you all to appreciate your dad while he's he, while you can because my dad is old now he's starting to forget things you know he's um and <clears throat> before it's too late really appreciate your parents especially your dad and spend as much time so i'm looking forward to spending time with josh when we Boy. travel back to manila uh while we're there while well, there's no internet what we're not gonna have internet <laughs> Of course, we have to apply it. Uh, we move. Yeah. So we're moving in a few weeks uh, and trans- transitioning so that uh, actually for Josh so that he can go to a, a new school that will prepare him for senior high school, for senior high and for college. So, so thank you. Uh, thank you to my son for appreciating me. Um, I think I'll treat him for dinner later. <laughs> Don't we have dinner at home? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot. And uh, yeah, God bless you all. God bless all the dads. and God and... bless all of you. And I hope all the children out there, you will appreciate your fathers for what they've done for you and for everyone in your life. So there, I was really touched by what Josh uh, shared. Just three things that I wanted to share with you. Three things, okay. Um, number one, especially parents, dads, don't ever give up on being a good role model or example uh, to your kids. They really follow not what you say, but what they see. And if you're a Christian dad, uh, a, a follower of Christ who's trying to parent his child, don't be afraid to, you know, to, to show your faith, to share your faith, to tell that child how important God is um, in life, uh, just to get them ready, so that when they're adults, they won't, they won't, uh, you know, veer far away from you and be a prodigal child. And so, yun talagang keep on keeping on being a good example uh, to your children. Kahit halan yon hindi po mapasok sa sa utak nila, yung po mapasok din pala. And uh, there were times kasi when Josh would say naririndi na siya or masyaro na kami yung pa-Christian, uh, goody two-shoes, he's not like that. And um, like when I give advice, he doesn't want to hear puro God, God, God. But I realized that uh, we, we can't, and I tell him, but that's who I am. You know, I'm a Christian and I'm a dad. And the advice that I'm going to give you is really going to be godly advice. It's going to be from what I've learned from God, from my experience, what I've learned from God from His Word. So if you're a Christian dad, you know, keep on keeping on. Don't give up. Number two thing I learned is that, um, you know, kids have different seasons in their life. And it's better that we uh, understand and listen more than us, than keep on talking. Yeah. So, wag na natin sigawan yung mga anak natin. Minsan, gusto natin, you know, pagsabihan, sigawan. But sometimes we just really need to sit down and say, are you okay? Um, what's happening? And just listen without trying to give advice all the time. You know? uh, until, unless they ask you. Okay, some, But sometimes they just need to be listened to. Yon. That's number two. Okay, So number one is never give up. Keep on being who you are as a Christian parent. Uh, don't really ho- hold back of who you are. And be a good example. Keep on being a good example. Mapasod din yun sa isip nila because what they see is what they will do and what they will follow. Your your walk shouts louder than your talk. Number two, instead of us always doing the talking, let us listen to our kids. Okay. And number three is that yeah, just complete dependence on God in your parenting journey. As God is our Heavenly Father, He is our best example um, of how to parent our, our kids. You know, God is, you know, if you look at all the attributes of a father, you know, He is he's loving, He wants a relationship with you, He's intimate, He's patient, He is kind, 
uh, he also disciplines because you know uh, a parent that doesn't discipline doesn't really love his child so let us be God's representative let us be God's hand you know if even if he doesn't see sometimes our child will not see God's um, you know heart doubt let us be God's hand and so that he will see God's heart so just rely on God uh, be dependent pray every day for your children that they will know God and know God even more so you lang po for uh, belated happy Father's Day and because the rest of the year is Mother's Day God bless you all